know. <laughs> Hello, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Haley. I'm a college sophomore studying accounting and finance. So I make a lot of college content on my channel, mostly vlogs, and I post a new video every single Saturday. So be sure to go subscribe so you never miss an upload. I decided to do a, another college day in my life. It's currently 7.35. Normally around this time, I would be leaving to drive to campus. However, I'm already at campus. <laughs> because I'm a commuter student, so I don't live in the same town I go to school in, but because I was studying late last night, I ended up crashing at my friend's dorm and still got like kind of sucky sleep because like I slept on this dude's couch, didn't go to sleep till 2.30, and then the only difference was like I got to wake up at seven. If I was at home, I would have to be up at like six or something, and then I would have also on top of that had to drive home. Sleep deprived, so I didn't want to do that last night because I was tired, and so here we are already at school. I literally didn't even like talk to my friend at all this morning i just like changed my clothes brushed my teeth and left because i need to get breakfast before class i didn't bring like a makeup wipe or anything or i feel like i did and i just couldn't find it last night i don't know but i did sleep with my makeup on so i'm about to like just put like i guess concealer or something over the makeup i have on just to like brighten myself up so yeah it's tuesday march 24th so it's Tuesday, March 22nd. I have an 8.30 class, so that's in less than an hour. I need to get breakfast. And then I have two classes after that. I have a 11.45 class and then a 1.30 class, but I'm skipping my 1.30 class today because I forgot to pack my work shirt. So I do need to go home before I head into work, even though it's my finance class and I probably shouldn't skip that because I just declared a concentration in finance a few weeks ago because I was just like a business major. I probably should start paying attention more in finance because that's like what I'm planning to like study. But uh, for the purposes of today, it's just easier for me to go home rather than like go and zone out and then like have to rush or have to like say to my boss, hey, I didn't go home last night. Do you have any extra shirts lying around? Because um, I have work at like 3.20. And I'm working until 8 tonight, so I probably should go home in between anyway because I haven't been home since yesterday morning. So, that's the plan right now. I'm basically in catch-up mode. That's why I just left at my friend's house last night because I did not do any work over spring break. And so I was like, I just need a late night of studying to get myself back on track. And I kind of feel back on track. I'm still behind on a few things, but they're not like crazy pressing. And by crazy pressing, I mean the test that I need to study for is in two days, not one. Like, I'll be okay. But I do have another test tomorrow. Yeah, I have a finance test tomorrow and a marketing test Thursday. I have a whole accounting project due on Friday that I haven't looked at yet. So I am still a little behind but I did do most of my studying for my finance test last night because I just stayed in the library late so that was pretty helpful so I'm glad I did that I just feel like I focus better at school or like in public places it kind of like holds me accountable to just like shut up and do my work because I'm around a bunch of people that are trying to study and do their work so it is helpful but I am kind of tired and I woke up this morning and my neck was killing me because I slept on a couch but I'm glad that my friend let me stay over because that was helpful and I have like five weeks of semester left i just got back from spring break so i guess my setting spray is good because majority of the makeup i put on yesterday morning stayed so that's nice that's cute i like it all right i'm gonna go get duncan and probably by the time i get back because the duncan line is freaking long i'll have to go to my 8 30 class okay update we've acquired duncan i got a bacon egg and cheese croissant and a medium iced caramel latte i always say light caramel i haven't tried it yet so i don't know if they actually put light caramel I know it's not the most healthiest of choices, but it's better than skipping breakfast. And I could always use coffee, so this is what we're doing. I didn't even realize how hungry I was until, like, I was at a red light. And I was like, I'm going to just start eating my sandwich now. <laughs> like, I couldn't even wait, like, the five minutes that it was from, like, Duncan to the commuter lot. Like, no. I had to eat at the red light. So, I'm going to finish eating. It's really good. Probably because I'm really hungry. I am curious because anytime I literally do anything in the car, I feel like a freaking fish bowl. So, like, I'm just sitting here chilling. I feel like I'm getting looked at even though there's, like, literally no one around. Like, no one actually cares or is, like, looking at my car to see what I'm doing. I need to stop. On the bright side, the coffee is is definitely what I needed right now. There's definitely a lot of caramel in this though, so it's definitely more like sugar than it is coffee, but it'll do the trick, so. I'm gonna head to class. I'm just gonna get there early because it's literally, it's only 8.04. It's not gonna take me that long to walk over for an 8.30, but 
I'm gonna just get there and like hang out and hopefully I pay attention because I have not been paying attention in this class and I'm still like trying to get used to like being back from spring break too because this is only my second day back and I just really don't want to go <laughs> like my friend last night was trying to convince me to just like stay and then I could sleep in his dorm till 9 and still get like very decent sleep but I to feel like it's more trouble than it's worth to like skip class because then I have to worry about making up the lecture and stuff later so let's just go to class before I change my mind okay it's like 12 30 I did not get like any footage or anything of me at school because I just went to my 8 30 class and zoned out and then I was studying with a friend I did not see the point in like going and sitting through classes and then like going straight to work when I don't even have my work shirt I don't have deodorant I don't have dry shampoo on me or anything like that i was like i need to go home before i go to work because then i'm going to work until eight tonight and i did not think that would be cute so i was like whatever oh my my waffle i ended up deciding to just skip my other two classes today and just come home and chill for a bit i kind of want to shower but i think i'm just gonna like try to study and then shower tonight when i get home that's not that gross i showered yesterday morning so yeah i'm home for a little bit and then i'm just gonna chill here until i have work at three i think i'm gonna try to study for my finance test that's tomorrow I did get a little studying done for my marketing test while I was studying with my friend this morning. So that's good. Yeah, I'm just really like, I don't wanna stop <laughs> working. Cause I know if like, I just decide like, you know what, let me take this afternoon to like shower, take a nap and like just chill and watch friends or something. I'm like, I'm gonna get home tonight and I'm not gonna do anything. I'd rather just like take this time now. I'm in a different space. Like I came home, I might just like sit outside for a while until I have to go into work and just like bang out as much schoolwork as I can. This way I can just like chill tonight and actually get to sleep. Cause I did not get to sleep until like 2.30 last night by the time I got back to my friend's dorm. And by the time we actually like stopped talking because that's the thing I'm noticing. It's fun to study with friends. And I definitely get a lot of work done like studying on campus and like studying with people cause we kind of hold each other accountable. But it can be easy to like go off on tangents and you get distracted, especially like when it gets late at night, like you you don't want to do work anymore so you're going to start talking to whoever you're with that was kind of the thing i think i just haven't crashed yet because one i had coffee and two i was able to sleep a little later than i would have been able to if i had slept at home so i guess that works but my back is definitely crying right now that i slept on the couch last night i made i grabbed some uh blueberry waffles for, out of the freezer i don't even think i'm gonna grab a plate i think i'm just gonna go eat them over the sink and then go study for my finance test and hopefully do not fall asleep in the backyard okay hey it's two days later <laughs> it's thursday now so uh that's a bit awkward but i'm gonna explain why i did not finish vlogging because i was originally just gonna like scrap whatever i was recording but then i was like you know what i kind of want to finish it so so i'm gonna talk for a bit while i drive to school and we're gonna pretend that i left on time and i'm not currently uh running late Basically, after I ended off on Tuesday, I went into work. I work as a math tutor, and then I also have my accounting internship this semester. So I work two jobs. I work about 30 hours a week, in addition to being a full-time student. And that equals working about six days a week for me, or five or six days a week. So I'm obviously doing a lot. And it's come to my attention that it is starting to show at my job, uh, like working as a math tutor where I tend to get distracted a lot. I'm not really doing my best work. And I wasn't always like that at this job. I, at one point, really wanted to advance and like start learning more difficult math. And now I'm kind of just like coasting along, just trying to get by between like the, my mom calls it like brain power, but like the brain power that I have to devote to school, the brain power I have to devote to my internship. And then on top of that, the brain power I have to devote to my job it's a lot and then on top of that half the time i'm sleep deprived like i went into work on tuesday on four and a half hours of sleep and i thought i was okay and i obviously wasn't because like i work with kids that like will tend to like distract me because they'll like you know try talking to me about stuff and as like their tutor i'm supposed to like shut it down and i don't i just like will let them talk because i want to talk too which is not the best way to do my job and that's not my job to, you know, talk to kids about life, um, as fun as that is. It's my job to teach them math. So basically, like, at the end of my shift on Tuesday, I ended up talking with one of my bosses. And 
like they offered for me to take time off but I was kind of hesitant to take that and then the other thing was like I could be retrained but I kind of went home on Tuesday and just I think that's when it occurred to me like how burnt out I am and like it sucks and it's embarrassing that I let it affect my behavior at work because I wasn't always like that like letting the kids get distracted but I kind of just like let my behavior go and I kind of thought that I was just putting in like the bare minimum to get by which is not good and like I'm also going through the recruiting process as far as like internships and stuff and like one of the people I was interviewing with literally said like the person that only agrees to do five things and does them exceptional rather than the person that agrees to do 10 things and they all come out mediocre the person that agrees to do five things is the one that performs better overall or like shows their best work you know because if you're spreading yourself too thin you're obviously not going to perform at your best in all aspects and I've kind of just been like oh but like it's fine I'm getting by like my schoolwork is doing okay my sleep's not the best but like I try to catch up when I can you know I'm having the balance of like going out and stuff so like I've been convincing myself that working six days a week is completely fine because hey at least I go out Friday and Saturday now but I still shouldn't be working that much and then on top of that I'm not even using the weekends to catch up on sleep because I'm out late I'm kind of at this crossroads right now where like I could just keep pushing myself and pushing myself or I could take a step back and lessen my commitment somewhere and I'm trying to take the next few days to figure out what that looks like for me and I've given myself a few options and I'm giving myself until Sunday to make a decision but that's kind of where I'm at right now I kind of came to the realization Tuesday night that like what I'm doing right now is not normal and financially yes it's good that I'm you know working as much as I do because I'm able to save a bunch of money But realistically, I can't keep pushing myself like this. And now it's starting to affect my schoolwork as well. Like I had a finance test yesterday, like the one I was trying to study for on Tuesday. I got a 67 on it. And that was a kick in the gut because I got to the place to take the test. And they're like, okay, you're allowed your one page of notes and you're allowed your textbook. And I was like, oh my God, completely forgot to bring my textbook. And so I took the test just with my one page of notes and it was not that helpful because I didn't know, like, I kind of just put like a bunch of random stuff on that and hope for the best. And like, if I had just remembered, hey, I'm allowed to bring my textbook, I would have had my textbook with me and I would have been able to, you know, spend some time because I had two hours to take the test, but I was done in like 15 minutes. I could have spent more time, you know, going through the textbook and getting the answers and I could have done better even though I didn't study as best as I could. So. That was also a wake-up call for me as well, realizing that, like, my burnout is affecting multiple aspects of my life. I'm tending to, like, argue more or just, like, literally cry in a corner. Like, that's not healthy. And I hate that I let it get to this point, and I've just been, like, convincing myself, like, no, 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 but I'm fine. Like, it's fine. Like, yeah, I got no sleep last night, but, like, you know, I got this schoolwork done or whatever. Like, no, I need to get sleep. And I need to stop, like, pushing myself to this limit. Especially as the semester winds down, like, I'm going to have finals come up. And because I haven't been at my best this semester, my finals could make or break me. And I need the time to focus on that. So that's basically what I've been dealing with the past few days. And I'm just trying to figure out, like, what making a change in my schedule is going to look like for me. And how much I want or need to cut back on. Yeah, I'm trying not to think about it like all day every day because I think I'll drive myself insane and I still need to focus on other things like I have a marketing test today I have my accounting project that I've mentioned that I've needed to start for like a week now it's due tomorrow I have not started it at all so I need to do that today luckily my finance class which is my last class today that got canceled because we have an exam this week so I have one less class to worry about today so I can take the time in the afternoon and I also don't have work today because I have to go to a recruiting event at four so because I'm doing that I will be able to have a little time to work on that project I really am just trying to take it one thing at a time but it's hard when you have to make like these decisions and stuff in the midst of like just being absolutely exhausted I did get pretty decent sleep last night the only thing that sucked was like I like went to sleep at 10 maybe I fell asleep while studying in my bed for my marketing test and I didn't finish studying so I woke up at like 145 and studied from 145 to 230 to finish up like making (gasps) I left my marketing notes for my test today that is open book in 
the printer at home and I'm already late for class and my test is at 10, which is right after my class. Yeah, a change needs to be made because this is the second time this week that I've forgotten things that could help improve my test scores. Like, I'm allowed to bring notes for tests. Why do I keep forgetting that? Like, and I need those notes because I barely had the time to study. Oh my gosh, okay, great, another wake up call. I cannot believe I forgot that. That's awesome, that's great. So I'm just gonna go ahead and end this video here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like. I post a new video every single Saturday, so be sure to go subscribe so you never miss an upload. And you know, subscribe if you wanna see me try to figure out how to not burn out and be as exhausted as I am right now. If you wanna go follow me on my social media, I'll have those usernames in the description down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.